Hey guys, welcome to another workout. Today is flows, chains, and complexes. We got two sections. Section one is with double kettlebells. Section two is with a single kettlebell. They're both pretty strong sections. So follow me on this. Section one, we're gonna be doing sprawl, dead clean combo. Okay, five reps. Then you're gonna go into the double half snatch, five reps, and then the seesaw press, five reps. By the time you get done rolling through that 15 rep series right there, you're gonna come up close to a minute. So what we're gonna do is one minute of work, one minute of rest. The actual series takes about a minute. So we're gonna work hard for a minute, we're gonna rest for a minute, we're gonna do five sets. That's the first part of this workout. Hang with me guys, let's get started. All right, here we go, round one. We got 15 reps of double kettlebell work. The sprawl dead clean combo is up first, five reps. Sprawl the legs back, jump them up, pull the bells to the chest, go for that second rep. On the last rep, hop backwards, and then you can rock in your double half snatches. Five reps here. On that last rep, when you drop the bells to your chest, you should be able to transition smoothly to the seesaw press. Five reps on each side. Bam, when that's done, that is the end of one round. So take a minute off. If you happen to end up you know, five seconds early, that's totally okay. You get a little extra break. Feel free to adjust your kettlebells now at this point if you need to go up or down in the weight. So you've got difficult but doable kettlebells. Catch your breath, shake out your arms. Coming up on about 30 second mark here. Take a few big breaths. Visualize the next set. We're gonna shred through the same 15 reps again. Five reps of the sprawl dead clean, five reps of the half snatch, five reps of the seesaw press. Bam, bam, bam. And you kinda of gotta, you wanna go into these sets kind of in attack mode. These are rather explosive lifts, quick, you want to be aggressive on the clean. 10 seconds. Half snatch just a beast by itself. By the time you get to the press, you're kind of burnt out. So here we go. Round two. Bells up. We are starting with five reps on the sprawl dead clean combo. One. Sprawl back, jump up, pull to the chest. Two. Sprawl back, jump up, pull to the chest. Three. Sprawl back, jump up, pull. Four. Last one. And then when I return them to the floor, I'm gonna hop back and I'm ready to launch my double half snatch. Five reps. Here's the big dog. Two, three, four, five. Seesaw press. Come on, shoulders. Two, two, three, three. Abs tight, guys. Butt tight, too. Grind out one more rep on each side. And we are done with two of those. Okay, let's take a minute. minute Grab a break. quick shot of water, catch your breath, shake your arms out, adjust your bells if needed, chalk your hands or your kettlebell if you, if you have it. That would be a good time to do that. Take some big breaths, get that heart rate down. Recover the grip. This one started burning me out about right here, about the third set coming up. We're over the 30 second mark, guys. Start catching your breath, thinking about this third set coming up. Let's attack that third set just like we did the first and just like we did the second. No change in pace. Don't let the cardio affect your technique. Even in the face of fatigue, we're gonna stay tight. Keep it clean. All right, guys, third set, here we go. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Five reps, sprawl, clean, sprawl, clean, sprawl, clean. That's three, come on, bam, bam, up, four, bam. Bam, up, five, hop 
back. Double half snatch. Here's the big dog. Two. Three. Four. Breathe, guys. Five. Drop it to the chest. Let's go into that seesaw press. Let's wrestle out five reps on each side. Two. Two. Three. Three. Starting to get tough a little bit. Four. Four. Abs tight. Come on. Five. Five. We have three rounds down. Take another minute, guys. Shake those arms out. Catch your breath. That's three down. Those are three big lifts, too. Explosive. Quick, explosive, clean, big on the snatch, and then throwing that press in at the end. Oh. <laughs> little, little rough on the shoulders. So feel free to adjust your kettlebells for this fourth round. Coming up on the 30 second mark here in the break. If by any means you need a little longer of a break, feel free to hit pause, jump back in in another 30 seconds or 60 seconds. But if you're ready to go, we're gonna come back in about 15 and attack round four, just like you did round one. 15 seconds to start. All right, guys, start getting ready. Let's get those bells set. Let's shred through round four. Five, four. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Bam, bam, clean. Bam, bam, clean. Quick, explosive on these guys. Five reps. On the fifth one, we're gonna hop back and rock the snatch. A little hop, fire, one, up, two, three, four, and try to wrestle out some presses. Don't let the cardio get you, keep your stomach tight, squeeze the handles, five reps on each side. Right, get them, get those last couple. And we got four down. Take a one minute break, guys. We have one more round of this section. Feel free to adjust your weights. If you're getting a little beat up and a little burnt out, consider going down two or four kilos if you have those bells. If you don't, you have to toughen up and just get this last set. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. You know what? If I need an extra 15 seconds of break, I'll take it. So I can, I can get it. I can be sure that I, I shred all the way through. Little over halfway on the break. Start gathering yourself. One more round. It's a big 15 rep set. Five, five, five. Five cleans, five snatch, five press. Seconds. Okay. Last one. Let's start getting ready, Nine guys. Minutes. Come on. Come on. Four. Last Three, round of this. Two. One. Go. Five reps. Sprawl. Clean. That's two. Sprawl. Clean. That's three. Sprawl. Clean. That's four. Come on. Let's get this last round just like the first. Let's go into five snatches. Oh, I forgot to hop back right there. It's okay. Two. Three. Four. This set of presses is going to be a little bit rough. Let's get tough, guys. Come on. Wrestle them. Wrestle them. Wrestle them. Last one. Come on. Come on. Five reps per side. Get that last rep. Grind it. Beautiful. Good job, guys. That's five rounds of that complete. Woo. Excellent work. Five rounds of that. Section one, take a break. Okay, guys, after you've had a break from section one, it should be pretty fried up here. Let me explain section two. It's more geared toward the legs. What we're gonna do is blend together the classic two-handed swing, the goblet squat, and the sit-through. If the sit-through doesn't work, you can definitely use a, a mountain climber or a knee to elbow variation. 
but for this workout, the sit through is gonna work best. This attacks the quads really, really good. What we're gonna do is do three cycles of work. We're gonna go swings, squats, sit throughs. Back around again, swing, squat, sit through. Back around again, swing, squat, sit through. The swings are always gonna be five reps, but the squats and the, on the, the, squats and the sit throughs are gonna start at one, and in the second cycle, they're gonna become two, and the third cycle around, they're gonna be three. By the time you get to that third one, the quads are just screaming at you. So it's gonna go five swings, one squat, one sit through per side. And then we come around again, five swings, two squats, two sit throughs, five swings, three squats, three sit throughs. That is one complete round right there when we go through it three times like that. So by the time, it takes about 90 seconds to go through it, burns the legs up real good. Give it a shot, go with a medium bell. Uh, if you're really good at this stuff, go with a heavy one. Cardio is gonna be heavy, legs are gonna be burning, but for most of us, a medium kettlebell is gonna be just fine, okay? Check it out, it's 90 seconds of work, one minute of break. We're gonna do four sets. I'm sorry, five sets. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get the bells ready. Two arm swing is up, five reps. Let's fire those legs. This section is all about the legs. Five swings coming. On the fifth swing, we're gonna pull the bell up to the rack and give it one goblet squat. Set the bell down on the ground. Transition back to the sit through. One rep on each side. Okay, second cycle, five swings again. squats, but this time the goblet squat is going to be two reps. Slow on the way down, quick on the way up. And transition to the sit through. This is also going to be two reps. Two. Now here we go, the last cycle. We're going to stay with five swings off the bat. And transition the bell up. Three goblet squats. Top rung of the ladder here. And transition the bell down. Let's get into the sit throughs. We got three of these on each side. At this point, the legs are kind of fired up and it's just hammering, nagging away at them to keep those sit throughs low and tight. One round down. We're going to take a one minute break. Feel free to adjust your weight if you feel like you could do this with a heavier bell or if you went too heavy on the first one and you didn't make it, <laughs> go down to a lighter bell. But uh, have a difficult but doable kettlebell here. A bell you can swing 15 times and, and get a handful of squats with. Don't let the cardio get you. You know, when you're, all, when you're always doing legs, cardio is going to be there. Whether you're doing deadlifts, squats, swings, kettlebells, barbells, leg day is leg day. So. Let's just toughen up and take the cardio. We're over 30 seconds on the break. Round two coming up. Feel free to adjust your bell. Single kettlebell work here. So we're gonna roll that again. Same format, five swings, but the squats and the sit-throughs increase in repetitions by one each cycle for three total cycles. All right, round two guys coming up. Let's get ready. Here we are. Five, four, three, two, two, one, let's go. Five swings. Two, three, four. On that fifth one, transition the bell up to the rack. One goblet squat. Set the bell down. One sit through per side. I'm gonna come back up softly and get into five more swings. One, two. Three, breathe hard, squeeze the glutes. On the fifth rep, transition the bell up and give it two goblet squats. After two, let's get the bell down to the ground. We're into sit throughs now. Two sit throughs per side. All right, here we go. Third cycle, five swings. Come on, fast hips. Two, three, four, and transition the bell up. Let's give it three goblet squats now. Keep everything tight. Legs flexed, glutes flexed, abs on. Squeeze the handle. Set the bell down. We got three sit throughs. Let's finish this round smoothly. And 
Cool. Two rounds down. Let's take a minute off. Chickens. So should start stinging the legs there after that after that last round. We got two down. We got three to go. Uh, adjust your kettlebell if needed. If you got exactly what you need and it's kicking your butt, burning your legs, and you don't want to go up, it's perfectly okay. Keep what you got. We're doing five sets of this, so you can totally ladder the weights up and down as you please, or you can stay with the same bell the entire time. It's rough both ways. <laughs> And the cardio is going to be a little bit rougher if you start increasing the weight per set. Okay, 20 seconds. Shake the legs out, catch your breath. Let's attack this third round like we did the first. Pop off with five hard swings. Give it one squat and one sit through. Breathe the whole time, not let this thing get us. Here we go. Round three, one, two, three, four, five. Transition the bell up. One goblet squat. Put the bell back down. One sit through per side. Come on back up smoothly. Here we go again, five swings. Second cycle. For the fifth swing, let's get the bell up to the rack, but we got two goblet squats now. Really get into those legs. Bell down, two sit-throughs per side. Smooth, crisp. Here we go, third cycle up. We're swinging five, just like you just started. Hard, flex the legs, squeeze the butt, fast hips. Put some effort into those swings. When you get five, let's pull the bell up. Give it three goblet squats. Finish this thing off with three sit throughs per side. All right, there's that. Three down, three down. Take a one minute break again. Feel free to adjust your kettlebells. Okay, a little short of the halfway point on the rest period. What I'd like to do right now is uh, for round four and round five, show you some class footage or some footage from the gym of us doing this workout too. So up next in round four, uh, I, I believe this is one of my old students, Matt, and uh, <laughs> it's one of his first days here. And he did this workout with me. I, I was I was rocking 24 on the on the first section and uh, I think I ended up with a 32, but it was really fun and uh, really burnt the legs and, and he's kind of a bodybuilder guy so I want you guys to see this. Round four, join me and my student Matt. Uh, we're gonna rock the section on round four. Okay, here we go. Bells up. We're starting with five swings. One goblet squat. One sit through. There we go. Now we're back to swings. That stays at five reps. Let's go. Fire five hard ones. And pull the bell up. Let's give it two goblet squats. Two sit throughs. Here's where the legs start firing up. If you're doing this with a partner, it's kind of fun. You try to stay together. It keeps your movements clean and slow and on pace. All right, here we go. Third cycle. Five hard swings. Come on, guys. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Let's get that bell up to the rack. And let's give it three squats. Just as tight as, as a round one. Bam, three sit-throughs per side. Three. Three. Boom, nailed it. <laughs> Give your partner a high five after that one. 
Take a minute off. Whew, got four of these things down. Legs should be cooking by now. We got one round left to go, guys. Feel free to adjust your bell as needed. If you'd uh, like to go up in the weight, now would be the time to do it. If There's only one round left. So if there's a kettlebell there that you're eyeing, you could probably do it with, but not very many times. But you got a little bit of gas left, now's the time to do it. So we're halfway on the rest. On this last set, um, I'm gonna show you myself doing a 48 kilo on this set. When, I, when it's me, you know, and, it gets, and it comes to the last round sometimes, I have a tendency to go a little heavy. <laughs> so stay with what you got, or at this point in, in the workout, grab that challenge bell and see if you can rock something heavy. Or just stay with, with what you got, totally up to you. 10 seconds. Um, this is me doing a 48 kilo right after that Last second one. Mat. Extra Five set. seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fifth round on section two. We're starting with five swings. One goblet squat. One sit through per side. And we're up. Five swings. And get it up. Two squats. This thing is heavy. I'm really having a fight with my stomach here. To keep that thing in, in line. Here we go. Two sit throughs. Come on, guys. Here we go. Third cycle. Swing at five. Get that bell up. Let's squat it three. Tight core, tight glutes, aggressive legs. And here we go. Three sit throughs per side. Even with those burning legs, we're still going to keep these things low. We're going to slide along the ground and make them clean and crisp. And there we go. Nice work, everybody. Section two complete.